Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful and awesome day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now to give him all the thanks right now, to give him all the praise right now, and to give him all the glory. We serve an awesome God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a powerful God. We serve an amazing God. We serve a God who is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. We serve a God who still sits on the throne, who still performs miracles and wonders each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus, who is still in the healing business, who is still in the blessing business. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good, and he is so worthy, hallelujah. He is so worthy to be praised. I don't know about you today, my brother and sister, but I'm so excited to always be in the presence of the Lord. So excited to give him thanks, praise, and glory. So excited to praise and worship and fellowship with y'all guys. That is a true blessing to me, and I'm so thankful and grateful and honored and blessed. But today is today God's going to speak to somebody. God needs to get someone attention right now. God has showed someone something, and he let the situation go. I don't know who he's about to talk to today, but he's about to get somebody a root of awakening right now today. And I don't know who this word is for today. But this word for somebody today because someone did something. You don't even realize what you did. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we come before you right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Give me all thanks, give me all praise, give me all glory. We just thank you, Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do. We thank you, Father God, how you're moving in this place. We thank you, Father God, for your grace and your mercy. We thank you, Father God, for who you are, what you've done, and what you're about to do right now. We thank you, Heavenly Father God, because we know for a fact that you have it in the palm of your hand. We thank you, Father God, in advance because we know that you have turned it around for us. We know that you have fixed it for us. We know that you have solved it for us, Father God. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for this word that we're about to receive. We thank you, Father God, for this powerful message today. That's going to keep us full today, keep us satisfied today. And there's no place, Father God, I mean absolutely, Father God, there's no place that we'd rather be at right now today, Jesus, but right here in your house, right here in your sanctuary, Father God, just lift me up with thanksgiving and praise, Father God, just glorifying your name, just magnifying your name, shine at your holy name, Father God, and always hallelujah, I say always hallelujah, put me first place. Because you are so awesome. You are so mighty. You are so powerful, God. Yes, you are, Father God. You are the God who moves mountains, Father God. You are the God who answers prayers. You are the God who heals and you deliver, Father God. You are the God who restore, oh, Father God. Oh, Father God, we just thank you, Father God. We lift you up with thanksgiving and praise right now today, Father God. We exalt your holy name today, Father God. Oh, Heavenly Father God, I believe and I declare today, God, that someone's going to be healed today. Someone's going to be delivered today. Someone is ready to give their life over to you right now today. Someone is ready to surrender to you right now today. Someone is tired of living in darkness right now today, Father God, and they're ready to come to you, Father God. Oh, Father God, they can't wait to scream your name. They can't wait, Father God, for you to come pick them up in their dark situation, Father God. Glory be to God, and you're going to get all the thanks for it. You're going to get all the praise for it, and you're going to get all the glory. The angels are already rejoicing in heaven right now today. Allow your love to move to this place. Allow your presence to move to this place. Allow your angels to join us in praise and worship in this place. Oh, Father God, this is your time. This is your moment, Father God. That I know that you're about to show up and show out. Let your will be done today, Father God. Let your words go out, and it should not return by board today, Father God. Oh, Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, to touch us right now today, God. Father God, I'm asking you, Father God, to move through this place like you never moved before. Glory be to God. Heavenly Father God, this is your house. The house that you built on solid ground. The house that you built on solid foundation. The house that cannot be moved, shaken, or bothered. Oh, Heavenly Father God, you are welcome. You're invited right now today to enter to your home right now. Right here in your sanctuary right now. Right here on your YouTube channel right now, your platform right now. Right here in my sister's homes and my sister's life. Right here in my brother's homes and my brother's life. Father God, I'm asking you to fill us up more with the Holy Spirit right now today, Jesus. Because we want more of you and less of ourselves. Father God, I'm asking you right now today to touch us right now. I'm asking you to move like you never moved before. I'm asking you to touch like you never touched before. I'm asking you to do some things like you never done before right now today, Father God. Because Heavenly Father God, we are counting on you today. We are dependent on you right now today. But most of all, God, we are relying on you, Father God, because we need you, Father God. We need you right now today, Father God. We need you to move right now today, Father God. Father God, I say we need you to move right now today, God. Oh, God, come through. Right now, Father God. Father God, some of your sons and your daughters right now, they're going through some things right now. 
And Father God, they just need some confirmation right now today, Father God. They just need something, Father God, they can just hold on right now today, Jesus. And I'm just asking you, Father God, to speak to that son right now. Speak to that daughter right now and just whisper in the air and let them know that everything's already all right. That they already won. That they ain't got to stress no more. They ain't got to worry no more. That victory is already in place. Victory has already conquered right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Holy Spirit, you're welcome right now. You're invited right now today to enter to your home right now. Right here in your sanctuary right now. Right here on Jesus' YouTube channel, on this platform right now. Right here in my brother's homes and my brother's life. Right here in my sister's homes and my sister's life. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to intercede and intervene right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to move through this place. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to comfort us right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you to quiet our thoughts, quiet our mind right now so we hear your soft, still voice right now. Holy Spirit, I'm asking you right now today, and I ask the Holy Ghost fire through the sermon, through the service right now today. Heavenly Father God, please forgive us for our sin, known and unknown right now. Wash us through your blood right now. Cleanse us as white as snow right now. Heavenly Father God, I want to say thank you right now today for forgiving us for our sin. Thank you, Father God, for not remember our sins anymore. Thank you, Father God, for the clean slate. Thank you, Father God, for the opportunity. Thank you, Father God, for coming through. Thank you, Father God, for understanding. Thank you, Father God, for clarity. I want to say thank you, Jesus. I want to say thank you. Father God, words cannot explain how thankful, how grateful, how honored and blessed I am to pray. Praise and have fellowship with all my brothers, all my sisters today, Father God, in your house today, Father God. Father God, we're here today to let you know that we're available for praise. I'm available for service. I'm available for the kingdom. But most of all, Jesus, that we're available for you. Heavenly Father God, before this, before I get started, there's something that's always in my mind about you. There's something that stays in my spirit about you. There's something that stays in the fruit of my tongue and the fruit of my lips about you. And I just got to tell you how I really feel about you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, 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 Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify you the way I do, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I magnify and shout out your holy name the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I pour my heart into you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I'm in love with you the way I am, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. That's why I pray, that's why I boast about you. That's why I talk about you all day long, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. But if you read it for God's word, I said if you really, really, read it for God's word, let the church say amen, but let Jesus know right now today that you can't thank him, that you can't thank him enough. I'm going to be honest with you, my brothers and sisters. This one thing that every last one of us have in common. It don't matter what color you are. It don't matter if you're male or female. The moment when we pray and we ask God for something, automatically God put it in this box. He tied up and he has your name on it. Sent to be delivered to you, my sisters. Sent to be delivered to you, my brothers. But he never tells us how the box is going to come. He never tells us how it's going to look in the inside. He never tells us that. He never tells us it's going to be in good shape. He never tells us it's going to be in bad shape. But one thing he do promise, what he sent you, it's a guarantee. What he sent you is an angel sent from him. And some of you right now today, you don't even realize that God sent you an angel. For your oh, help with this thing, Jesus. He sent you a special angel for you to entertain. You didn't know that that angel that God sent you was the one for you to help you to get out of the hood, to get you out of Section 8, to get you to help you to get out of that situation that you've been stuck in for so long, to help you to raise your children, to help you to shine like you're supposed to shine. God sent you an angel because that angel was going to take on, on all the work and say, come with me. You didn't realize what you asked for, what you prayed for, you let get away. You didn't realize what you asked for, what you prayed for, you pushed away. You didn't realize 
but you ask for and pray for, you disrespect it. You act like you ain't want it. You act like you ain't want it. You act like you were so comfortable living and staying at the freaking bottom. And God said, don't make sense to me. Then you ask for this. Then you pray for this. I sent you an angel. I sent you a gift. I sent you a blessing. You didn't realize this person I sent you was the one who's going to help you. This person right here is going to take you to the promised land. This person right here is going to take you to the next destiny. This person right here was going to uplift you. This person right here was going to upgrade you. This person right here was going to do everything for you. This person right here would allow you to be yourself. You didn't realize. God sent you the angel. But what you did was push that angel away. But what you did, you disrespected that angel. What you did, you act like you didn't want that angel. But you didn't realize that was the one who was going to help you. That was the one who was going to rescue you out of that pain that you've been in. Out of that misery that you've been in. God noticed that you stayed up plenty of nights crying, asking for help. To get out of a certain situation. Some of y'all been in bad relationships. But God sent you the angel. That's going to help you and love you. That you ain't got to worry about being in another bad relation no more. But what did you do to that angel? The angel stayed as long as that angel could have stayed. But what you do to the angel? You push that angel away. You curse that angel. You're like you didn't even want that angel. Like you were so used to the pain. Like you were so used to the hurt. And God said, why are you crying to me now? I sent you what you asked me for. What you thought it was going to be in a different box? I never told you how the box was going to look. I never told you how the angel was going to look. And I never told you that the angel was going to be this. I never told you that the angel was going to be that. But I sent you an angel. I sent you a gift. A gift from me. And you didn't even entertain it. Not knowing the angel that I sent you. The gift that I sent you. Was the one. He was the one, my sisters. He was the, she was the one, my brothers. But what did you do? You didn't entertain it. You didn't entertain it at all. Now, I do know this for a fact. God do believe in second chances. I believe today God is going to open somebody's eyes right now. He's going to touch someone's heart right now today through the sermon, through this message. And he's going to get somebody, I don't know who it is, he's going to get somebody a second chance because someone didn't even know what and who they were entertaining. You thought that you were entertaining Ghostbusters. You thought that you were entertaining people in the hood, but you didn't realize there was an angel sent by God. That was the person who's going to take away all your crying. You won't have to cry no more. You won't have to do all that work in two and three jobs. You won't have to sit there and live paycheck to paycheck anymore. You ain't have to sit there and struggle and suffer the way that you've been struggling and suffering all these years. God sent the right angel to you. That angel was going to provide. That angel was going to uplift you. That angel was going to take care of you, the kids, and everything else. That angel already had instructions to do what the Lord has instructed that angel to do for you and only just for you. The angel, my brothers and sisters, was a sign only just for you. Just for you. But you didn't know that was the one. But I'm going to tell you one thing, my sisters. I'm going to tell you one thing, my brothers. After you get through hearing this right here, you're going to know that that was the one that God sent. Too many of y'all right now that you was complaining. There's no such thing that you're going to get 100% out of a man. There's no such thing that you're going to get 100% out of a woman. You get what, what God has sent you and you work with that and y'all bond with that and y'all build with that. That's what you do. But to think about it, you didn't have 100% before the angel came, now did you? You didn't even have 50% before the angel came. You didn't even have 30% before the angel came. Matter of fact, you didn't have no percent before the angel came because why? You were still stuck on the ground. You were still hurting. You were still suffering. You were still going through things. You were still, hi God, hi God, why I'm still stuck in this situation? Why I'm still living like this? That what God sent you, what you asked for and prayed for, you didn't want it because why? You were still used to not having nothing. 
you so used to going through the pain and the suffering and the hurt. Then when the angel came, you didn't know how to entertain the angel. You didn't know how to treat the angel. You didn't know how to love the angel. You didn't know how to be there for the angel. But the angel knew everything to be there for you. Oh, help me that thing, Jesus. Why think that angel stayed the way that it stayed? Why think that angel put up, put up with a lot of mess and a lot of crap from y'all? Because that angel knew his and her assignment. The angel knew what they was called to do, what they was chosen to do. But you, my sister, you didn't, my brothers, you didn't know that was the one. I'm going to tell you how I know this. Tell your Bible to Hebrews 13, and we're going to read verse 2. Hebrews chapter 13, and we're going to read verse 2. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Do not forget to entertain strangers. For by so doing, some people have entertained angels without knowing it. Remember, those in prison as if you were their fellow prisoners, and those who are mistreated as if your, yourself was suffering. Read that again, verse 3. Remember, those in prison, at one time, my brothers and sisters, you was in prison. Pretend that you was in love. You was in prison in your health. You was in prison in your finances. You was in prison in your relationship. You was in prison in your job. You was in prison point blank period. And you didn't know how you was going to get out. As if you were their fellow what? Prisoner. Some of y'all, y'all was the other person fellow little prisoner because the other person was telling you what to do. That so-called boyfriend was ruling you, controlling you. And he was telling you what to do, my sisters. And you did it. Not knowing that you had more power than he did. So my brother, you was in prison because you allowed that other woman to dog you, mistreat you, not knowing that you had more power than she did. And those who are what? Mistreated. Look how long that you were mistreated at that job, my brothers and sisters. Look how long you were mistreated. Look how long you were mistreated in that so-called doomed relationship that you was in, or so-called that you was, you was in, my sister and my sisters and brothers. Look how long that you was mistreated in that so-called relationship. Dogged you out, scarred you, damaged you. But when the angel came, the angel there to help you, to uplift you, to heal that wound, to heal that scar, to heal whatever damage that was done, that angel there to pick up the pieces and to mold you back to what God wanted you to mold you back to. But you didn't know that was the one. You so used to being mistreated, you think that was life supposed to be about. You so used to being at the bottom, you didn't know that this angel was trying to take you to the top. You so used to being mistreated and being dogged out, you didn't know what the good life was about. But the angel was there to take you and to show you what the good life was about. But you didn't know they was the one. You didn't know they was the one. But they were. God's going to open your eyes and say, why do you entertain? What I sent you. Why did he take care of what I sent you? What kind of box you thought it was going to be in? I never told you what kind of box it was going to be in. I never told you what it was going to look like. I heard your cry. And I remember you. Not only did I hear your cry, but it was someone else that was crying for you. And that person could have been your parents or your grandparents. They was tired of seeing their daughter or their son hurting and struggling and mistreated. So they cried out to God. And God heard that parent cry or that grandparent cry or whoever it was that was praying. God heard that cry. God felt their heart. God knew their true intentions. So that's why he sent the delivery DHL. That's why he sent the UPS. That's why he sent the FedEx just for you. And you didn't know that was the one because you didn't entertain it. You didn't entertain it. You mistreated it. You mistreated it because... That's all you know how. That's all you know because somebody was mistreating you. You put that angel in prison because that's all you knew was that you were stuck and mistreated in prison. Didn't realize they was the one. Didn't realize they was the one. My brothers and sisters, God believe in second chances. And I believe today, I don't know who this word is for today. I don't know who this misses for today, but God is going to give someone a second chance today. He knew that you didn't know what you was doing. 
He knew that you weren't even ready for that angel that he sent you. But I'm going to tell you one thing, my brothers and sisters. That angel has not went nowhere. That angel is still right there in your facility right now today. That angel is how to disconnect himself and herself from you for a while so you can realize they was the one. And it's time for y'all to open your eyes and realize this is what God sent me all along. This was the angel that's going to help me. This was the angel that's going to rescue me. This was the angel that's going to help me, help me and my children, help me to get where I need to be in my business. This was the angel. Yes, that was the angel. So you need to start entertaining what God sent you. And if this word is for you, you know God's talking to you, say thank you, Jesus. Thank you for giving me a second chance. And if you like what you heard and this word is for you, go and hit this like button. Hit the subscribe button to as well. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus, but I was praying a simple little prayer that God is already working everything out in our life right now today. And if you ever want to get in contact with me, leave me a comment. My YouTube channel is willis.lt. Always keep Jesus first place. Always seek him, always honor him. Always keep your eyes focused on Jesus because he is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Continue to trust him even though you don't see things happening. Continue to hold on to his unchangeable hands and please do not let it go. Continue to pick up your crosses and follow Jesus. Choose faith over fear. Always continue to pray for your fellow brothers and sisters. It doesn't matter if you're wrong. It doesn't matter if you ever seen their face. Prayer help and prayer changes things. I'm always going to continue to keep out in prayer, my brothers and sisters. The only thing that I ask y'all guys to do for me is continue to keep me in prayer and keep me lifted up too. I'm serving me to sell too. I love y'all. Stay blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.